and welcome back to News Now. I'm John Persapio here with today's special guest, William Patterson University professor Peyton McDonald. Dr. McDonald is a composer and professor of music. He's performed in concert halls all over the world, including New York's Carnegie Hall. Welcome. How are you today? Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Great to have you here. Thanks. So uh, you have a lot of compositions that you take on here. It's some East Indian tabla drumming, American military drumming, jazz, classical music. I can go on and on. What inspired you to take on all these compositions? Well, I think part of it is just the instrument I play. You know, as a percussionist, we are required to do a lot of different things. We're required to play a lot of different instruments, and a lot of those instruments have their roots in different styles. So I think that's part of it. Um, and also, I just love music, and I love music from all different genres. You know, my playlists are very, very diverse, everything from heavy metal to classical to bluegrass, and, and I just have a lot of intellectual curiosity. So over the years, I've just tried to learn as much as I can about different styles. Now, one of the reasons you're here today is you're going to talk to us about this new project you've started here, the Sonic Divide. Tell us a little bit about that. All right. Well, the Sonic Divide is definitely the most ambitious and original thing I've done so far in my career. And it, it's really one long extended performance art piece that brings together my passions for creative music and ultra distance mountain biking. So what I'm doing is I'm riding my mountain bike from the Mexican border all the way to the Canadian border. Wow. It's 2,500 miles, and I'm using a route that the Adventure Cycling Association mapped out about 20 years ago. It's mostly off-road, and it follows right along the Continental Divide. So it goes up through New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming, a little corner of Idaho near where I was born and raised, actually, and Montana. And the route actually crosses the Continental Divide 30 times. And so wow. what I've done is I've commissioned 30 composers to write pieces for me. I guess 29, because I'm also writing a piece. And every time I hit one of the divide crossings, I stop, I put my bike down, I set up some GoPros and some video cameras and audio cameras. I perform the piece and I record it, and then I keep going. And, and at the end, when the whole thing's done, I'm gonna collect all that footage, plus some interviews with composers and other athletes, and I'm making a film. That's unbelievable. How long will this take you? Well, it's hard to say. I'm not racing, but I'm going to be riding pretty hard and fast, as I like to do. So I'm planning to put in about 100 miles a day. With a little bit of luck, that'll, that'll work out. Um, you know, some days you're pushing your bike through snow for miles. Other days it's a little more smooth sailing. So the, the mileage varies, but I, it'll take about 25, 26 days, somewhere yeah. around there. I mean, uh, obviously the artistic part of this speaks for itself. But well, this is also pretty physically demanding of you. You have to be oh. in athletic shape to do this, right? Uh, yeah, I, I did 500 miles of the route a few years ago, and I've done a lot of these kinds of long distance rides, and yeah, it's tough. You know, you're, I usually ride from about 5.30 in the morning till 11 or so at night, and you know, you stop to eat, and you gotta fix your bike sometimes, and you roll through towns about once a day or every other day, and that's where you pick up food and water and such. Um, so you do have little breaks, but it's tough. The, the climbs are unbelievable. I mean, the whole route, you're climbing over 200,000 vertical feet. So it's a lot of climbing. And not only that, but you're going to have to have instruments with you. <laughs> well, not really. Actually, all I'm taking with me are a pair of mallets, a pair of sticks, and my voice. And then my phone, I have some pre-recorded sounds on there. So the composers, all the pieces they wrote for me, I'm either singing um, or maybe with some electronics from the phone. And then if I use the drumsticks, I'm just playing on whatever, we call them found objects in the percussion world. So logs, rocks, sticks, things like that. Now you mentioned you're gonna be bringing GoPros with you. I'm assuming that you're gonna make this into a video. Where, if I wanted to see this, where can I find that? Well, uh, let's, let's hope that the whole film comes together and I'm working with a, a really amazing professional filmmaker you know, to, to make it into a full length film. We're gonna send it out to some festivals and hope for the best, so we'll yeah, see. That'd be great. Now before we go, we're running low on time. If I wanted to watch one of your performances, you're doing a lot of stuff here, where could I go to see that? I think the best thing to do is just go to one of my websites, PeytonMcDonald.com. I also have PeytonMusic.com, which is a little more focused on my voice. Or just check out the Sonic Divide page, and all of those will point people right towards my schedule. Well, thank you very much, Con. We're really looking forward to seeing how the piece comes out. I'm, I personally am very excited to see that. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'd like to thank my guest once again, Professor Peyton McDonald, and wish him the best of luck with his summer project.